Hi, I'm Gary, the water guy for the Water Stores Group, and I own the water store in Midland, Ontario. Today we're talking about how to assemble and install a three-stage Pura ultraviolet system. A great system if you want to get rid of the bacteria in your water or you never want to have bacteria in your water. Works great for a cottage or if you're on a well um, and it's a year-round home. Either way, it works great for either application. So let's first talk a little bit about installation parameters. A couple things you have to keep in mind. One is this needs to be installed after the pressure tank but before your, your cold water splits to the hot water heater so that uh, both your cold water and your hot water passes through this. The other thing you have to consider is an outside tap or a hose bib. That needs to be taken off before this unit so again all the water that uh, you're using for gardening or watering uh, the lawn or washing the car, those kinds of things, doesn't run through this, so you don't use up its capacity. In terms of where it gets located, um, you also need 20 inches of clear space above the unit for changing the ultraviolet light bulb in the future, and you need 20 inches below this unit for cleaning the glass sleeve. Um, you need hydro nearby because the ultraviolet light needs to plug into uh, an outlet, so plan for that to, uh, within your installation. So once you've planned pretty much where you're going to put the unit, the next thing is to actually assemble it. I've unpacked the box. This is how the unit comes when you receive it. So the first thing you need to do is to remove the three uh, filter sumps. So all you do is just unscrew them counterclockwise and you'll see that the, the filters, this is the sediment filter, the first of the two filters, um, is already in the, in the sumps. So we'll just set that aside. The one in the middle will be the carbon filter and again we just unscrew that and you'll see the, the carbon filter cartridge is already inside there. Make sure the gasket stays in place and we'll set that aside. And the last one is uh, the chamber that holds the ultraviolet light bulb. So again we'll unscrew that and pull that out and you'll see there's an O-ring. The O-rings on all of these are already uh, lubricated with uh, clear uh, silicone, plumber silicone uh, lubricant. And there's a, a thick gasket at the top here. And this is the channeling sleeve, stainless steel channeling sleeve. So again, we'll set that aside with the others. Okay, so now what we need to do is we need to install the glass sleeve that uh, the ultraviolet light sits in. So that goes into this end housing here. So first we need to do is, um, there's the lamp and here's the glass quartz sleeve. So if we open this up, pull it out. Now what you want to make sure is that you don't handle the glass sleeve any more than absolutely necessary. So when you unpack it, keep the, keep the uh, bubble wrap on the unit, so that uh, on the glass sleeve, so that um, you're not handling it with your fingers and get oil on it. So once you've taken that out, take some fine sandpaper and the open end of the glass sleeve, just lightly sand that open end. And that's just to remove any burrs that might be on there to stop the glass sleeve from sliding in. So once you've done that, then what you need to do, there's, there's two O-rings in the top of this when the glass sleeve slides into it, and that's what holds them in place. Now those O-rings have to be warmed up slightly. And uh, I use a blow dryer to warm them up. There's several, you can use a uh, heat gun. You can use hot water if you're in a pinch to warm them up. But I find a heat gun is, uh, or a blow dryer is the best way to go. So just heat those up, you can set the blow dryer aside. And then making sure it's perfectly straight, the glass sleeve slide it in, and with a slight twisting motion, you push it past the O-rings until it's seated right up at the very top. And then it's in place. So once you've got the glass sleeve in place, then it's uh, quite important to put the channeling sleeve back on and the filter housing so it protects it because it's fairly fragile. So we'll slide the, the thick uh, gasket in place, put 
put on the channeling sleeve. And the housing. Tighten that. All right, so now the glass sleeve is protected. So the next thing we do is uh, the middle housing is the one with the carbon filter. So put that one in place. And the last one is the sediment filter. That in place. Oops. The O ring slipped out. Just put the O ring back into place here. All right, great. So the O ring's back into place. Tighten up that filter housing too. Tighten them as tight as you can by hand. Great. Okay, so the next phase now is to put in uh, the ultraviolet light bulb. Mm -hmm. Now in the box that holds the, um, the ballast or the controller, um, you'll see there's also some screws in there. Four screws. So remove the lamp from its container. And again, same as the glass sleeve, we don't want to handle the lamp. So we unravel the bubble wrap, save it for the kids to play with later. And the four pins just get plugged into the controller like that. Slide it all the way in so it's nice and tight. And then we just slide that into the middle of the glass sleeve. Now before we slide it all the way in, you'll also see in the same box that the ballast came in, there's a plunger and four screws. So we'll dump those out. And at this stage, we have to make sure this plunger goes into this hole beside where the ballast is located before we slide it all the way in. Okay, great. So you'll see four screws or four holes, and obviously that's where the four screws go. Phillips screwdriver and tighten these up. Now the ballast uh, won't turn on um, until all four screws have been tightened and that plunger is in place. So it's very, very important that you uh, put that in place. So we'll tighten the four screws. Now while I'm tightening those, I'll mention the next stage is actually installing um, the ultraviolet system because we're pretty much done the assembly now. And what you need to do is to keep in mind that um, the water flows into this end and comes out this end. So these are three quarter inch um, thread. So whatever kind of plumbing you have uh, after your pressure tank, you might have uh, three quarter inch or half inch PEX plumbing. You might have three quarter or half inch copper plumbing or you might have poly tubing. So whatever kind of plumbing you have, you'll have to pick up the fixtures that will take that plumbing into uh, three quarter inch threaded. And you can pick that up at uh, um, uh, Home Depot or any um, home hardware uh, building centers, Rona, um, any of those building centers or a plumbing supply store. Okay, so now that we've got the, the ballast is in place, the four screws are in, the plunger is in, um, the ultraviolet light bulb is inside here, as is the, the glass sleeve and the filters. Typically, we just need to hand tighten these. But if you hook it up and you notice a little bit of water leaking out, then you can use the wrench that comes with to, to just slug it, snug it up uh, slightly. This wrench is primarily used for unscrewing the, the housings. And in terms of assembly, that's it. So the next stage is installation. So let's talk about that now. We talked earlier about the installation parameters. That is that the ultraviolet 
um, system has to go after the water's gone through the pressure tank. So in this application, the water flows in here. It can be flowing in from a well, or if you're drawing water from a lake, it gets pressurized in the pressure tank, and then it flows out through here. There's a shutoff valve over here that if you turn that 90 degrees, it would shut off the flow coming out of here. So once you've shut off the water, you can cut the pipe, and uh, you can install the water into the uh, ultraviolet system. Now we would enter on this end. This is where the sediment filter is, and it would flow out through this end. And this is the end where the ultraviolet light bulb is located. So in this end, out that end. So this is what it looks like once it's been installed. The water's coming up here from the pressure tank. It flows through the ultraviolet system and out the side. Now I know you'll probably notice this is a two-stage Pura ultraviolet system, but the three-stage would be exactly the same. Water flowing in this end, flowing out that end. There's shutoffs at either end. That way we can isolate uh, the system to easily change filters uh, when it's time to do that. And you'll also notice there's a surge suppressor here. Always a great idea to plug your electronics into a surge suppressor will make them last a whole lot longer. And that's the process. The only thing left to do at this point is to disinfect the plumbing in your home. You can find out how to do that uh, by checking one of the other videos in this series called How to Disinfect the Plumbing in Your Home. And that's located uh, within the blog section of our website at www.waterstoresgroup.com. And again, I'm Gary the Water Guy from the Water Store in Midland, Ontario. Thanks for watching.